Good morning, uh, everybody. Hello, everyone. My name is Professor Melvin Lobo, and I'm the director of the POTS and Blood Pressure Clinic in Bart's Hospital, Bart's Heart Centre in London. We are a group of um, physicians with a background in cardiology and cardiovascular medicine, um, looking after patients with all sorts of blood pressure disorders, including high blood pressure, hypertension, low blood pressure, hypotension, variable blood pressure disorders, and postural tachycardia syndrome. Uh, I've worked with Dr. Nicholas Gall and Professor Leslie Cavi, the chairman of POTS UK, to co-edit and co-author the textbook of POTS, which you will have seen on the POTS UK uh, website. I've been asked to uh, speak to uh, why uh, POTS UK, and I think um, POTS UK is a fabulous uh, charity uh, with uh, incredible um, an incredibly useful amount of information for patients about postural tachycardia syndrome and allied uh, autonomic dysfunction. The um, website has tremendous resource for patients in terms of information about both non-drug therapy and drug therapy of the condition. We uh, also have a lot of information on the website for clinicians who need to be better informed uh, about this um, disorder. And I think one of the most useful things is to see the patient stories, which uh, often are heartbreaking, uh, and we clearly need to do a lot more to help uh, individuals with a diagnosis of POTS and autonomic dysfunction. And this is the reason to raise awareness, because autonomic dysfunction and POTS are very poorly recognised. And many of our patients and many uh, clinicians are aware, aware of stories where it has taken years for patients to uh, get referred to the proper uh, specialist to deal with autonomic disorders. There tends to be a lot of um, cynicism or even frank uh, disbelief about patients presenting with autonomic uh, symptoms, mainly because if clinicians see that there are structurally normal uh, hearts or uh, normal rhythm uh, monitors, uh, they cannot then account for the symptoms which actually arise through autonomic uh, dysfunction. And so I think it's really crucial that we uh, make significant efforts to dramatically raise awareness of POTS throughout the UK and indeed uh, globally. Uh, my personal view is that uh, patients with significant autonomic dysfunction are disabled because they are very restricted in their activities of daily living. Many of them have had to give up jobs or university uh, education. Many of them are unable to look after their own children. They struggle without the help of uh, other carers, so their parents come and live with them or they go to live with their parents. These are all uh, tragedies that should hopefully be one day preventable, but we will only do this if we raise awareness and have better means of both uh, treating uh, and investigating these patients. And I think uh, getting to the right clinician is a key thing. And if you look on the POTS UK website, you'll see that there are a number of clinicians, mainly in London, with a few dotted around the country. But really, for the numbers of patients that have this condition, there are way too few uh, doctors that can serve their needs. And as they progress and become more complex, with allied dysautonomia affecting the gut or sometimes the genitourinary systems, uh, it then gets very tricky to try and coordinate care. And this is really uh, important because, in truth, we need to work as multidisciplinary teams in many patients with POTS. And it's really important that the clinicians copy each other into their uh, correspondence so that everyone is on the same page. I have to say that my own view of heart rate and blood pressure issues that arise in patients with POTS is that they are a readout of mischief going on elsewhere. For instance, if you have a bad gut with a lot of nausea, with a lot of um, vomiting or reflux, then that's going to make your cardiovascular symptoms much worse. Similarly, if the bladder is irritated, incomplete emptying, getting up at night to pass urine, sleep disruption, all of these things lead to worsening of cardiovascular symptoms. Uh, so in summary, therefore, I think the time has never been more ripe to capitalize on uh, raising awareness of POTS and to some extent COVID has helped us with that because we are seeing a lot of uh, new cases emerging post-viral um, POTS uh, with long COVID 
or even uh, in relation to the vaccines. And this should hopefully uh, give us enough of a uh, tide of uh, patients to you know, formulate new pathways for management and new approaches to care and coordinated under the roof of autonomic care specialists who are people like myself and other cardiologists and other um, neurogastroenterologists, neurourologists uh, working uh, in collaboration to try and improve care uh, in this setting. Uh, thank you very much, POTS UK, for the opportunity to speak.